My name is Chris Amoroso, and I'd like to share with you my spot of grace. Beautifully spoken silence. My 41-year-old daughter, Yara, had been challenged with progressive disabling multiple sclerosis for 10 years. For her last three years, she'd been unable to eat, move her body, or speak. I would read newspapers, poems, and books to her. I played music, told stories, made funny faces. I would do anything I could to connect with her, to evoke a knowing look in her eyes, a responsive laugh, or a sound of some sort. I would psych myself up for the visits, hoping to share a few moments of joy. Most days, there was no response. One day, bone tired and resting quietly in the chair by her bedside, I realized my breathing was synchronized with the rhythm of her breathing. I began to notice that silence was being spoken beautifully between and around us. In her motionless, speechless soulfulness, spirit filled the room. I gazed around. The room was full of her brightly colored art, which had been produced with the one arm that could move partially during the early years of the MS. Back then, Yara had said over and over, okay life, give me what you've got. I'll take it and make it mine. I will transform it into my beautiful world. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. As I looked at her still body, a serenity and radiance shone forth from her. There was an energy field in the room. It invited me to take a healing break. Her creativity was alive. When I paused to look and listen to it and let it connect to my spirit. When I left the room, the peaceful satisfaction stayed with me. I marveled at how she had responded to her challenges. Indeed, she had MS, and it didn't have her. I have come to realize that having a severely afflicted daughter is one of my life challenges. I can't be so busy dealing with the challenges that I forget to make my own world beautiful. Creativity must be alive in me, and I must pause to look for it, listen to it, and let it connect to my spirit. Yara taught me that the pauses between the notes are what make the miraculous music of life come alive.